So here is a champion magnolia tree. And as you can see, uh, ivy has now got about 30 feet up it. And so a good job uh, for March on a sunny day is to actually tackle the problem. The ivy isn't perhaps doing that much damage, but gradually as it, as it sticks to the bark of the tree, it will weaken the tree. This is an old tree and it doesn't want to be playing host to ivy, which is getting really quite thick as you can see here. With my bill hook, it's, you know, those big stems of ivy, which are, which are going way, way up the tree. Anyway, large and small shoots, they all need to come off. And we want to be careful not to damage the magnolia itself. And as we know with ivy, if we leave one little bit that's somehow linked into another bit, not all of this lot will die. Yes, it'll grow again, but the great thing is we'll now have the satisfaction of seeing this ivy go brown and die and the leaves drop off. It'll take a few minutes to get right round the tree. But you get the general idea of what we're setting out to do. For a really good job, one would need to get all the ivy off the ground around the tree. But for the purposes of this video, there isn't time to do all of it. We can just make a half decent job of the base. Something very satisfying about dealing with a load of ivy like this. It hasn't taken very long. And while we're looking, I see some nasty bits of ivy growing up this rhododendron. They're not yet very large, but they soon will be. Often it's only one or two small bits on each, each branch. When you look closely, some of those small bits are becoming much larger. Very small bits you can break off with your hand. The larger pieces, best to get the bill hooks. It really doesn't take much, but you're prolonging the life of the tree doing the tree a service. I could do a better job than that, but you don't want to hang around for hours watching me do it. You get the general idea.